Congratulations sa inyo mga kids. Narating na natin ang week 8, ang lesson 2 of 2, ang pinakahuling lesson para sa quarter 2 mathematics grade 6. Ang topic natin ngayon, solving basic operations on integers. Samahan niyo ako muli sa ating video. In the previous lesson, you learned about the basic operation of integers from multiplication, division of integers, addition and subtraction, as well with an aid of number line. In this lesson, you are going to find out how to solve routine and non-routine problems involving basic operation of integers using appropriate strategies and tools. Routine problems is a type of problem with an immediate solution. While non-routine problems is more complex with compared to routine problem. Non-routine problems requires higher thinking skills, creativity, and critical thinking skills. It can be also solved in multiple ways. Read the following word problems involving integers. Observe how it was. Example 1. When Miguel and Isaac woke up, their temperatures was 36 degree Celsius. Two hours later, it was two degree lower. What was his temperature then? For solution, 36 minus 2 equals 37 or 37 degree Celsius. The word degree lower is an indicates Subtraction An elevator is on the 29th floor. It goes down 14 floors and up 8 floors. What floor is the elevator on now? For solution, step 1. From 29th floor down to 14 floors, therefore, the operation is subtraction. The word goes down indicates subtraction. So 29 minus 14 equals 15. Step 2. From 15 floor up to 8 floors, therefore 15 add by 8 floors. The word up indicates addition. So, 15 plus 8 equals 23. So, the answer is 23rd floor. For example, 2, SM department store mark 250 pesos off of the price of each pair of shoes in stock. If the store has 500 pairs of shoes in stock, what is the total reduction in price? Step 1. Put negative 250 reduction per 1 pair of shoes. Step 2. Negative 250 multiply by the total number of pair of shoes. And the step 3. Negative 250 times 500 equals negative 125,000. Negative sign indicates reduction. Keep in mind that there is no negative amount. Therefore, 
the total reduction is amounting to 125,000 pesos. Example 3. A construction firm distributed 15,500 pesos equally for 20 laborers for their daily compensation. How much money will each get its worker? So, 15,500 divided by 20. The answer is 775. Since the keyword is distributed equally, it indicates division. Therefore, each worker would receive amounting 775 pesos for one day. For learning task 1, answer the following routine and non-routine problem. Write your answer in your notebook. Number 1. If 5,850 kilograms of rice is packed in 65 sacks, how much rice will each sack contain? Each represent division. So 5,850 divided by 65 equals 90. So the answer is 90 kilograms. If it is 25 degrees Celsius outside and the temperature will drop 5 degrees Celsius in the next 8 hours, how cold will get it? So 25 degrees Celsius minus drop means subtraction. 5 degrees Celsius, the answer is 20 degrees Celsius. So the answer is 20 degrees Celsius. For learning task 2, solve its problem, write your answer in your notebook. A submarine starts out of 20 feet below sea level. It dives 535 feet before rising 425 feet. Represent the current dip of the submarine as an integer. For solution, negative 200, bakit negative 200? Kasi below sea level represents negative. Then plus another negative which is negative 535 dives represents negative. So negative 200 plus negative 535, the answer is negative 735. The negative 735 plus positive 425. Rising represent positive. So negative 735 plus 425 equals negative 310. Bakit naging 310 o negative 310? 735 dahil magkaiba sila ng sign minus 425 the answer is 310. Gagamitin ang negative sign ng mas malaking number. Kaya ang sagot ay negative 310. Maraming salamat sa pagsama niyo sa akin. Natapos natin ang quarter 2 ng grade 6 from week 1 to week 8. Hanggang sa susunod pang mga videos, ang quarter 3 mathematics. Manatili tayo mag-ingat. Hanggang sa muli, paalam!